Good morning, Lighthouse. Thanks for joining me again today. I'm so excited about what God is doing already in the first three days of this fast. Uh, but day three, a uh, very crucial day in the fast for me in the past. Day three has always been that pivotal point for me. Uh, I've really struggling with headaches and hunger pains and all that good stuff. But if you can get through day three, uh, it, it's, it's easy sailing after that, or at least I, that's what I tell myself every single year. So day three, I want to bring a message to you real quickly uh, today. Psalm chapter 34, verse 8 says this about the Word of God. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in Him. We know today that there are great things in the Bible, and that when we read God's Word, uh, it just leaves that hunger for more. We talked about yesterday how Jesus said, I am the bread of life, and he who comes after me will never hunger or thirst again. God wants to bring satisfaction in our spiritual soul. He wants to satisfy that hunger and that thirst in all areas of our life. And so the Word of God is very clear about the benefits of the Word of God. And so in Psalm 19, it says this about the Word of God, that it is purer than gold and that it is sweeter than honey. Matthew 4.4, 4, Jesus says, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes out of the mouth of God. He, it, it's so amazing, the power of the Word of God. It has, the, it has the ability to bring miracles in our life. It has the ability to bring direction and correction and clarity. And so I'm so thankful today that we have the Word of God uh, with us daily. If we will read it, it will bring satisfaction to us <clears throat> spiritually in all areas of our life. In John chapter 4, we have the account of the story. One of, the most, one of my favorite stories in the Bible is the encounter Jesus has with the Samaritan woman at the well. And many of us know this story very well. We've heard it preached many times and we've read it more times than that. Uh, it, Jesus encounters a Samaritan woman at the well. He's already sent his disciples on ahead into town to get food. He ministers to the woman through his words. Through that encounter, this woman is saved. God changes her life forever. And when his disciples come back, they offer Jesus some food. And Jesus uh, obviously is already satisfied. And he says, listen, I, I, have, I have food that you know not of. Being confused, the disciples are asking, what, what, are you, what is he talking about? Where, where did he get food? And Jesus tells them this, my food is to do the will of the work of the Father who sent me. And that applies to us as well today. When we read this scripture that taste and see that the Lord is good, when you and I read God's word, it makes us more and more hungry and thirsty for the things of God. But when you and I take that and we apply that to ministry and we help people and we invest in other people's lives, it's more than just giving them our opinion. It's truly giving them the word of God. And when you minister the Word of God, it feeds your soul. And when you do that, that is your food. God satisfies you spiritually. And so I encourage you today, as day three, as we close this out and look forward to day four, listen, taste and see that the Lord is good. Invest in the kingdom of God. Invest in God and invest in people, and you can never go wrong. God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow.